ladies and gents, welcome back to your go-to channel for reviews on really whatever you send my way. Today's a little bit different, obviously. I'm not in my usual setup. I'm doing that for a couple reasons. One, because today's product is a bit different. It is about the outdoors and about your feet. And also, like, it is beautiful out. So I figured I would enjoy the outdoors and share with you zero shoes. They are dirty. <laughs> You can see that I have used them. I actually purchased quite a few pairs from them. Over time, I just kind of have narrowed it down to the kinds that I like the most. Um, and this one is, oh, these gnats out here are wretched. <coughs> I literally just inhaled a gnat. Gross. <sighs> With these zero shoes, there are two different kinds, the Apari Hana and the Apari Lena. The Apari Hana is the man's size and the Apari Lena is the women's size. The biggest difference is that the toe box, so the very tippy front, is a little bit wider for the men's and it's a little bit narrower for the women's. Now for my feet, my feet are a little bit wider, so I went with the men's size and they fit really, really well. I did actually purchase the Lena originally and it was just too, too narrow for my feet. With the way that Zero Shoes has designed their shoe line is that your feet can move and fold and bend to the ground while being protected from things such as sharp rocks. So it has a lot of the basic protection from things that could like actually puncture you. Let's see if I can show you how much they bend. Look at this, watch, 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 watch. Yep, that's probably the best way to show you how to do that. They have, these are the closed toed options. Um, they have a couple different sandal versions. They have the um, Z Trex, which are like the bare minimum, like barely anything, just enough to barely keep your feet protected. And the Z Trails have a little bit more cushion and a little bit more padding, and that's, you know, perfect for somebody who wants to maybe do some, I don't know, a little bit more trail, trail stuff. Yeah. People who enjoy a more natural feel, you will probably really, 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 really like these shoes. Also, you can throw them really far and it's really okay. I don't know really what that was supposed to show you. The downfall in them is that with the closed toed shoes, so like these Apari Hanas, these shoes are made out of a canvas type material on top and then on bottom they say it's a type of rubber. Um, now with it being canvas, I will say the canvas itself maybe is a little bit breathable, but the fact that it's just like rubber underneath, I don't know what the combination was, but I really felt that these shoes weren't very breathable. I felt that my feet were often getting very sweaty, and that's just not an experience that I wanted. While they're really comfortable in how they function and how they feel while you're walking, for some reason for me they just weren't that breathable. That's just something to consider, again. It's really all up to you. Check them out. Um, I will put the links down below. This link does um, have some benefit to me. I really enjoy the Zero Shoes, so I applied to see if I could maybe be one of their brand ambassadors. Their brand ambassadors. And ambassadors. Ambassadors. Because I really do enjoy their products and I do enjoy their everything that they're really going for. I really, really like it. So um, I will have a link down below. Are you interested in this type of shoe? Is this something that you think that you could wear regularly? If you like this content, hit that subscribe button, share with your friends, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks everyone, bye. I just realized I'm pacing a lot and hopefully it's not making any of you dizzy, it probably is. <laughs>